Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, we got a brand new video, and it's going to be how to get Team of the Decade points fast. Team of the Decade points are used towards getting these 100 overall masters, Calvin Johnson and Fletcher Cox. Obviously, there's two different levels. There's 50k and 100k points that you're trying to get up to. I'm going to be giving you guys all of the best methods and ways to be able to get those points and get up to these 100 overall players in this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Today's post notification shoutout goes out to Moss Gaming. Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shoutout. There's a stat on YouTube that says about 80% of you guys that are watching my channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. For those that have been in my streams lately, I really appreciate it. This last week has been really fun streaming. Like I said yesterday, I gave away a field pass, which is really cool. We had 220 viewers in the stream at once. That was absolutely crazy. I won't be streaming today. I'm going to take a break from that, but tomorrow we'll be right back at it once Cinco de Mayo comes out. So, yesterday was the first day of Team of the Decade. Super, super exciting. Probably the best card art we've had for them. I would definitely say, I love, I don't know why, I love the, the text at the top of these cards where it says Team of the, and you can see kind of the decade at the end. So, um, but yeah, so we're talking about uh, Team of the Decade here today. Cinco de Mayo comes out tomorrow. That promo is tomorrow. Very exciting. It looks like a two-day promo, unless they count the 5-5 five, five to be, usually uh, when they say like 5-3 to 5-5, five, five, it means 5-5 five, five at 10-30 in the morning. So really, two-day promo. Promo. Very excited to see how it goes, and I think I feel like I'm pretty sure Noobkill is uh, kind of revealing something like that today on that promo. So make sure to go check that out if we do have something like that. So we're talking about how to get these points here today, and just like any other field pass, you're getting as many points as you can on your way up to getting the really much the, your main goal is to get up to 50,000 points. Then the bonus, if you're gonna spend a lot more coins or uh, just a lot more resources or spend a lot more time playing the game then your goal pretty much is going to be get up to uh, 100k which is going to give you another one of the masters which you can choose from as well as well so um you have a bunch of different options here and everything like that so you want to get up to the 50k that's the biggest thing so there's really two ways you can approach this there's a free to pay uh, free to play method and the field pass method now the field pass is $30 in the store um, I know some of you probably bought it. I bought it yesterday I buy all of the field passes and everything on my stream yesterday um, I gave away a field pass which is really cool I haven't done something like that before so um, that was really fun but yeah so field pass is going to start you off with 10k points so it's already gonna get you a fifth of the way to this play right here and it's gonna give you I think five times what you normally get in season mode or four times whatever season mode and I think gauntlet too I'm not exactly sure um, but I know I have some sort of a upgrade up there because of that fuel pass and it gives you a lot of other resources too but it basically gives you a huge head start on you know, on all of these right here, and that's going to be huge. And really, if you're going to get the field pass and you can grind season, then you will be able to get up to 100k if you want to grind season a lot. And season actually has some really good rewards this year, um, or recently. They've definitely upped the rewards, but... Um, or you can do the free free to play method, and everybody still is able to get a 50k player free to play. And I I hear it all the time. People are like, oh, I finally got him free to play. Usually towards the end, but guys, you can do this promo free to play. You can do and get these 100 overall free to plays. But there's pretty much two different ways. So field pass or free to play. Now. Other than that, here are some other ways to be able to get some points. These might be a little bit obvious, but I'm going to talk about some other hidden stuff as well. So, daily goals, super easy to complete. Just do them. I don't do them, but I should. <laughs> I haven't gotten my five daily goals in forever. I'm going to start playing some gameplay stuff like that, though. So, uh, five daily goals is pretty important right there. So, you can get 240 pretty much daily goal um, a day. 240 points daily goals and this whole thing is 33 days long all that's going to give you 7900 points which is obviously a good amount of points another thing make sure you're just logging in every single day it's so easy up here you're going to get your daily team of the decade points for 33 days 500 times 33 is 16,000. That's huge. 16,000. That's more than a fifth of the way to the, the Masters. With Super easy. So, little stuff like that's going to be really important. Play a league versus league drive. You can realistically get about 120 a day for those if you're playing, you know, if you're playing your league versus league drive every day. So, you have a potential of another about 4,000 points. In the store, there's also a daily pack. I've already claimed it, but if you go to a team of the decade, um, you do have a chance to get every single day 100 points. So, that's going to be another 3,300 points. We'll get to the league pack in a second. There's also some achievements. Complete the daily fi uh, five daily goals. 
15 times, that's super easy. 10 team history maps, that's easy. Use 10,000 stamina, just so easy. Uh, 10,000 front office points, I could do that right now if I wanted to. 250 points in league versus league drives. You actually have to play the game for some of these. For me, I haven't been playing recently, like at least gameplay, so really a lot of some of these I'm not going to be able to get. But 250 points in league versus league drives, 250 points in arena, and then 10,000 points for each captain kind of thing right there. Maybe those are some uh, you know optional kind of things. So guys, literally from completing all your daily goals, playing league versus league drives, claiming the daily pack, and then claiming the 500 daily. That's literally over the course of the 33 days, 31,000. Guys, that's so easy. That's You're literally more than halfway done to a master. Then there's so many other ways to do it. You can do points with the gauntlet, and if you have the field pass, it's going to be obviously expedited and you're going to get a lot more you know a lot more collectibles and points for that which is going to be easy same thing with season and if you guys are wondering which one to choose between season and master series go for the season because you can repeat it and repeat it and repeat it the rewards are fantastic do the season for sure i i have to start the season myself i'm going to start playing that because the rewards literally aren't even bad but um, definitely go for the season and once you complete those you know those are kind of optional things if you want to go for those definitely go for them because you get the 98s anyways if you're able to get them if you bought the field pass or if you have enough gems the 8,000 gems to buy both of them that's really huge right there um, then we can go over to some division sets now the division sets are going to be another huge factor so if you are able to throughout the promo there's gonna be many probably different ways to be able to get these players here um, basically what you want to do is you want to get one player from each set here or one player each um, so each division has their own set of four players if you complete all four if you get all four you're gonna get 1,000 team of the draft points um, and team of the, I always say team of the draft, team of the decade points, and you're going to get three decade banners, which you could choose from. Um, so literally right there, that's another 8,000. And if you complete all of them, you're going to be able to get another 5,000. So that's another option for 13,000. If you can complete that throughout the promo, that's going to put you up to like 45K, which is going to be so easy. And then you're just literally playing season for the rest of it. Or you could do so many more things. You can do the grab bags. The grab bags are cool. Um, you do have a chance. I will do one of them right now for you guys because I do have a lot of stuff. But you do have a chance to get, you get at least a few draft points, uh, decade points every single time you do this. And um, you do have a chance to get some other stuff as well, like coins, front office points, gems, stuff like that but really you do have a chance you can get a thousand you can get a thousand points and i've gotten it before um it's not gonna be every single time let's see we can get one oh we got a thousand boom there you go and 10k coins that was a really good one literally if you can do that grab bag a few times if you have some leftover players if you bought the field pass or if you bought the uh, sideline pass, which can unlock these as well, you're going to get some different offers. I already bought mine with co coins today. You can do five a day for 50k, so 250k a day for 5,000 points. Um, so obviously, if you're buying that every single day, you're going to be easy, easily getting it, but that means you're going to be spending a lot of coins. Or you could do the same thing for gems or man cash. 5,000 gems a day or 2,500 man cash a day. It's really up to you. Those are just some other options for you guys to choose from if you would like. Obviously, you know, spending some more coins and getting getting the first quarter pack or getting the sideline pass and stuff like that is going to be a few options if you would like. Yes, I know I have a lot of league store points, but if you scroll all the way back, hopefully they did add them. They did add them this time. 250 points for 200 league store points, so I could get a, a bunch of these right now if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but uh, it's pretty cool. This is just another way to be able to get some stuff right there, and really, that's just about it. Now, there's one thing. Um, in the future, we're getting some promos, like tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo. A lot of times when you're completing masters and completing sets and those other promos, you're going to be getting a lot of other uh, team of the draft kind of or team of the decade kind of points or whatever through that as well so make sure you're playing and competing in a lot of the other promos and everything that are coming out other than that really gauntlet season um do some other point rewards so really some of the easiest stuff literally for doing nothing you can get 30,000 then if you want to grind play season if you want to complete those division sets you're going to get more points and yeah it's really really simple and season you can definitely get you know they're really not what maybe three hours per season full season which really isn't bad at all spend some time playing those games have some fun with that and i think that's going to help you guys out a lot 
let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see from me with this if there's any other ideas how to get you know some of the masters and with the promos which will obviously come out tomorrow with Cinco de Mayo um, obviously I'm gonna have some more episodes of Pro Pack Squad out we'll have some more you know content related videos I'm really really excited to keep on going with these promos and everything like that but anyways guys that's just about it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm Goose TV and I'm out I'll see you guys later